Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is Lightburn, which means we're going to play with the Orion Motor Tech laser. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is going to be all about the awesome longboard that we created in Tinkercad. If you have not created that, check the cards up above. I will have a link to that lesson so you can get yours built and then bring it to the laser cutter. Friends, this is going to be about our cardboard longboard. If you do it on the Glowforge, there's one set of steps. If you're cutting it on the Ryan Motor Tech, these are the steps you find. First, on the desktop, you're going to launch Lightburn, and then this fourth button is the import. You need to slide up the quick access, find the STL folder, and then find your skateboard. Mine is called B2 because I've made a couple of these. When it loads, you will see it like this with the red color. I want you to select it all, and I want you to switch to the green settings. If you just take a quick peek, the green settings are a speed of 60 and power max of 40 and 40, which is perfect for our four millimeter thick cardboard. The next thing I wanna show you is that in Tinkercad, if you grab here, things move. In Lightburn, it doesn't work that way. You need to get right on a line to move it. But notice also every piece we built is not grouped in Lightburn. So I'm gonna do undo, which is control Z, and I wanna group these. Well, once again, there's two ways to do it. You can grab everything inside the box. So notice I'm touching these pieces down here. Because they're not completely in, all it grabbed was the skateboard. And then you can do control G to group them. Now watch this, if I click somewhere else and I grab the skateboard, those pieces all work together. We want to line this up over on the edge 40, is what I found I like most with my laser. And then we want to be down 20 centimeters or 30 centimeters, just like that. So let me show you the second way to grab things. If you go from the right to the left, if you just touch the two shapes, it selects them both. Once again, control G, and then remember we have to be on the shape. And look at that, those two pieces are connected. Now remember we're trying to arrange this so it cuts most efficiently. So now I can click over here and check. It is lined up pretty darn good. I'm going to do this selection just to show you again. The only thing totally in here was that wheel. So it grouped it. Control G and I'm going to tuck it up in this corner right here. This time I'm going to go from the right to the left. Touch the two. Control G. And you can see how you can pretty quickly get real good at aligning these. Because I like this wheel, I'm going to just get rid of these wheels. So I'm just touching them all and hitting delete. And now I can take this one and do control C and control V. And I'm going to set them out here for now. Control V, control V. And control V and control V and control V. These I'm going to throw out as well. Delete and delete. And then I'm going to copy my two good ones. Control C V. So you can learn to quickly arrange all your stuff really quick. Let's group this part right here by selecting from the right to the left. Once again, Control G. Test to make sure that we did it well. Pull it up in here so we're using it efficient, making sure we're on that 40 line. And then let's take these wheels and let's bring them all down here. And I'm gonna stretch them across and stretch them across so that they efficiently fill up this space. While we're here, let's use another trick. Let's select those two and choose a line. And we want to align them to the centers vertically. We'll take these two. Notice when I go from left to right, it doesn't grab them because they had to be totally in the box. If I go from the right to the left, they select a line vertical center. You can also use your arrow keys to nudge these into position as well. I'm going to grab all of those and nudge them close. 
I'm going to grab this wheel inside. Make sure you're on the line. If you don't grab the line, they don't work. Let's move this one up here. And I think I'm going to put my last wheels. Remember, we need eight. So there's two, four, six. We need one more. I think I'm going to put the last one over here on the edge. Control C, Control V, and pop it in. So then double check that you've got four of these with the holes. You've got eight wheels with the holes. You've got the long boards lined up. And at this point, you can call me over so that we can get ready to cut your awesome long board. All right, friends, so let's double check what we learned. We learned that we have to grab lines to move them. We learned that if we go from the right to the left, it, it selects everything it touches. We learned how to do a line, so we could do a line vertical center, so those were perfect. Let me show you one more. If we select these two, we can also align to the top. Boom, now those are perfect. They were close before. This is how you make everything extra efficient when you're getting ready to laser cut. Friends, I do want to remind you in my classroom that you do not click any other buttons after this. I just need you to get it aligned and then call me over so that I can double check all your settings and then we can send it to the laser cutter. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.